Okay, a few days ago I uh, posted a video saying that my Patreon supporters are divided. Uh, half of them want to see shell script tutorials up next, half of them want to see 2D game design. So now I'm letting my YouTube viewers break the tie by commenting. So I asked people to comment on a video here and whether they want shell scripts or whether they want 2D game design. So we're gonna count that up now and we're gonna count it kind of sloppily so the numbers may not be 100% accurate, um, but unless the numbers fall within a few, uh, you know, few digits of each other, it won't really make a difference. It's not like we're giving out prizes or anything, it's just the topic there. So we'll do this and see if our numbers are close. So to get YouTube um, comments, uh, there's an old API that doesn't work anymore. I think there's a new API, but you need to get a, a key for it, blah, blah, blah. We're just gonna strip the HTML straight. So if you, uh, I got this from just doing YouTube, uh, uh, Google search on YouTube comments. If you do youtube.com forward slash all comments, question mark, V equals, and then put in the ID of the video, you will get all the comments in a basic HTML format here. Uh, we can quickly see that we have 58 comments. Uh, so let's go ahead. We will take this URL and we'll go into our shell here. It makes it a little bit bigger for you. And you can use wget or curl. I'm gonna use curl in this case. And I'm going to go like so. And we should hit enter. And we should see some form of output here in a moment. There we go. So the HTML of the page. Just so we're gonna run pipe this into a bunch of stuff. Again, this may not be the best way to do it. It's just a quick and dirty way that I'm gonna do it. And we don't wanna to have to pull it from the website each time and wait, even though it's only a couple seconds to pull it down. So let's go ahead and redirect this into a file. So dash lowercase o for curl, if you're using wget dash capital O, and we will call this comments. So we just put all that HTML into a file called comments. So I can cat comments and you can see the HTML there. Now, we're going to start grepping for stuff. Now, I can go here and quickly start looking at the HTML with something like our little shell here. If I hit F12 in Chrome and some other browsers, uh, it's F12 as well, but you look here and you can see all the elements. I can quickly highlight one, you know, like this here and start looking for keywords that I can grep for. Or if I didn't want to do that, I know that I'm looking for the word shell for shell scripts and 2D for uh, 2D votes. So let's go ahead and just use grep. We'll do dash I for case insensitive. So it's gonna ignore whether the person capitalized the shell or wrote it lowercase, but we're gonna say shell. And you don't need quotations in this particular case, but it's not a bad habit to get into and we're gonna grep through our comments. We're saying look through the comments uh, file and return any line that contains the word shell. If we hit enter, you can see the, the return there. Uh, so at this point, uh, one thing we can see is that it seems like all these comments, because we have to be careful if we go up to top here, it's also pulling the title of the page which has the word shell in it. So we can see the comment tags, or the uh, div tags on the page have a class of comment text contact, content. So a better thing to start grepping for would be that. So let's go ahead and paste that in there. So I highlighted that and center clicked, which is clicking the center wheel to paste. You can always right click and say copy and right click to say paste. Um, but we're gonna, gonna grep that. So now we can do that. So now this is all comments here. Should be all comments. now. If we look back at the page, we can go to the top and it says that there are 58 comments. And if I now pipe this into W, uh, C, and do dash L, which is a line count, if I remember correctly, grep has some sort of function like this built in. I'm just saying that because someone's gonna yell at me for not just putting it into the grep command, but I'm gonna pipe this into W, C, dash L, and it's gonna return that there's 55 comments. I haven't really, again, I'm just doing this quick and dirty. Um, I'm assuming that it's probably has to do something with uh, replies here. And again, if we're trying to get a, a very precise number, I'd want to look into more why it's returning 55 rather than 58 comments. But again, not a huge deal unless our n end numbers are really close. Uh, and so now we know we have 55 comments altogether that we're counting from. Now I can grep and I can say dash I shell and that will return only comments, so we're, re we're ignoring things like the title of the video and stuff like that. Uh, and so comments that have the word shell in them. And now I can do a word count on that 
and see that there's 37 uh, votes theoretically. When I say theoretically, I mean they say the word shell in them. It doesn't necessarily mean the person's voting for shell scripts. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, so we'll say 37 votes for shell. Now we also had people voting for 2D game, so I can search for 2D, or I can search for game. And you can see some people said 2D, some people might have said 2D game, but I want to check for both. I can also search for, uh, and I should follow my own rule of putting quotations around this, I can search 2D game, it also returns 20. So probably one of those people probably said 2D without the word game. So as you can see, the numbers aren't even close. So I mean, if it was like 35 to 37, I'd be like, oh, I need to fine tune this a little bit. Uh, but you also might think to yourself, okay, um, well, 37 to 21 actually returns 58, which was our original number of comments. Uh, I think that's just a coincidence. <laughs> um, because the reason for this is some people said the word shell, like they maybe said, I don't want shell scripts, I want 2D game, or something like that. So what we can do is we can uh, search for both of those. So we can search for 2D and then grep for shell and see what people were saying. So for example here, uh, 2D game design, please, because there's a lot of resources about shell scripts. Or So they said both words, but they're obviously voting for 2D games. So they say, while I want to see shell scripts, uh, I'm leaning towards 2D game design. So that's two votes to give towards 2D game design. This person says, I have no interest in 2D game design, uh, but there are so many shell scripts out there, you should probably do game design. And 2D game design, in shell, in the shell, in a shell script. So, so that person kind of voted for both. These three people were voted for, for um, 2D game design. So even if we add three to this, bringing it up to 24 and bringing this one down to 34, shell script still seems to come out ahead. So our next series, starting in January, will be on shell script. So again, this is a quick, dirty way. There's lots of ways I could have repped through this, and again, more accurate ways, but this isn't like a very important, uh, you know, end of the world uh, search that we're doing here, and the numbers were far enough apart that even though my numbers may not be 100% accurate, they're close enough to see that shell scripts won. So in January, I will be doing shell script videos. Again, um, what I plan on doing is quickly reviewing uh, the basics and then jumping into something beyond the basics, I guess. Um, but the way I plan on doing it at this point, at least for the first couple of weeks or maybe months, is lately I've been doing one video every Wednesday. Um, what I plan on doing now is doing a handful of videos on a particular topic or similar topic on Wednesday. So a Wednesday video will probably have a playlist of five short videos uh, explaining something rather than one long video. That way you can... I, I know when I go to YouTube and I see a video that's rather long, I kind of skip through it or I, I'll get back to it later and I never do. So like the first week I might do five short videos on the echo command, <laughs> you know, uh, but very short ones, but you'll have five that week that you can look through, and then the next week we'll have five on something else. And I'm just throwing five out there as a number, it may not be five, uh, but there'll be a number of videos each week, but all released on the same day, so you can watch them all at once if you want. Um, but I'll also be doing other videos, I'm going to be doing some um, software review videos and things of that nature on other days. So look forward to that, so I'm upping the number of videos for at least the first couple of months in 2016 and I'll talk more about that in another video um, but uh, I'm basically doing it in hopes to get more support from viewers because uh, I cut back uh, a while ago on the number of videos I did uh, because the support I'm getting is rather low if I can up my support I can justify doing more videos um, so I'm hoping that if I if I start doing the work maybe the support will come in but I'll talk more about that in another video again this video is getting kind of long uh, I thank you for watching. If you voted for 2D game design, I'm sure I'll be doing that in the uh, future, near future. Um, and uh, so I'm sorry that it didn't come up now. It would have been a fun topic, but it's been a while since I've done shell script videos in a series. So 
That's it. Thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Um, link to that in the description. Uh, like, subscribe, share. I hope you like. I have a bunch of new video intros and outros that I'm doing that I just put together for the, the new year that you may have seen at the beginning of this video and at the end. Um, anyway, just pointing that out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.